to many people across the globe, nature sounds can hold special memories. They may trigger a specific time out in the wild, or even something they heard in everyday life that piqued their interest. Some of the most vocal animals are birds. Birds are known for their songs and calls that they use to attract a mate, defend their territory, and make contact with other members of their species. While every bird makes different noises, some are more iconic than others. These are songs and calls that hold cultural significance, have become synonymous with feelings and emotions, or embody a particular region or habitat. Here are the 10 most iconic bird songs and calls in the United States. Number one, Morning Dove. Our first bird may not only hold a spot on this list, but also a list of the most nostalgic bird songs as well. Morning doves are medium-sized, chunky-looking birds, with a body that is a combination of brown, gray, and peach color. Their wings have some black spots on them, and are usually darker than the rest of their body. Morning doves live all across the continental United States, so many people are familiar with their solemn song for which they are named. It can be heard most readily during the nesting season in spring, and is a combination of high and low coos. Number 2. Common Loon Perhaps holding the title of the most haunting song of all North American bird species, common loons are large diving birds with a white underside, a black and white checkered back and wings, a black head, and a black collar around their neck. Loons are migratory birds that winter along the coasts of North America, all the way from Canada to Mexico. In summer, they move into the northern U.S. and Canada, where they sing their ghostly song on inland lakes. Their rising yodel and tremolo call embody the spirit of the North Woods. Number 3. Red-winged Blackbird One of the first birds to signify that spring is on its way in North America, male red-winged blackbirds are aptly named, with an inky black body and a red and orangey yellow marking on their wings. Females look dramatically different, with a brown back and wings, and cream-colored undersides streaked with brown. Red-winged blackbirds live throughout most of Mexico and nearly all of the continental United States year-round. They move into the northern U.S. and Canada for the summer. The male's extremely distinctive song that sounds like conquerie is a familiar sound in early spring. Number 4. American Crow Used as a sound that symbolizes darkness, trepidation, and uneasiness in modern media, the caw of the American crow can be heard all across the country, from the coasts of California all the way to New England. These all-black birds with large bills are incredibly intelligent and even known to forge bonds with humans. Their caw is certainly familiar to most people, as they've either heard it often in the real world or because of its use to create an ominous atmosphere in TV and movies. Number 5. Western Meadowlark The beautiful song of the western meadowlark can be heard floating across the prairies, plains, and canyons of western North America. They have a bright yellow underside and a black V on their chest. Their back and wings are mottled brown and tan, and they have white on their face and sides. 
their song is possibly one of the most pleasant to listen to, consisting of melodic whistles, ending with a bubbly conclusion. Number 6, Eastern Whippoorwill. The first nocturnal bird species on our list, the Eastern Whippoorwill is in the Nightjar family, a group consisting of species such as nighthawks. They typically rely on their superb camouflage during the day and come out at night to forage for food. As their name would suggest, Eastern Whippoorwills reside in the eastern part of the United States, where they serve as a staple of the nighttime ambiance, making the call for which they are named, sounding like they are saying Whippoorwill. Number 7, American Robin. American robins are likable birds that are very common throughout the United States. They have a reddish-orange underside, a grayish-brown back and wings, and a darker colored head. American robins can often be seen hopping along the ground in places frequented by humans, such as parks and backyards. They find their way onto this list not only because their song is so common to hear, but because you've probably been woken up by it at least once, as American robins sing well before dawn and earlier than many other birds. Their song sounds like they're saying, cheer up, cheer up, cheerily. Number 8, Red-Tailed Hawk. The Red-Tailed Hawk is one of the most interesting additions to our list. Iconic not only because of the part it plays in the real world, but for the part it plays on the silver screen. They are extremely common all across the United States, from the forests of the east to the deserts of the west, and everything in between. They also come in a variety of color variations. Chances are, if you've watched enough TV and movies, you've heard the call of the red-tailed hawk before. However, it probably didn't get the proper credit for the role in the film. The red-tailed hawk's call is often used in films as a bird soars overhead. However, that bird is oftentimes not a red-tailed hawk, but rather a vulture, or an eagle, or a different hawk species. Occasionally, Hollywood gets it right, but more often than not, they don't attribute the red-tailed hawk's screaming call to the red-tailed hawk. Number 9, Sandhill Crane. Once on the brink of extinction, the Sandhill Crane has had a remarkable recovery and now can be seen soaring over most of the U.S. They can also be seen walking in places like marshes and prairies and parking lots and roadsides. These large cranes are gray to sandy colored with a long neck and a red crown. Due to their increase in numbers, the bugle-like sound of the Sandhill Crane once again fills the air, especially in the springtime as they migrate north and serve as an auditory harbinger of warmer weather on the horizon. Number 10, Great Horned Owl. The last bird on our list is often associated with the spooky and occult in cinema. The great horned owl is the owner of the stereotypical owl hoot often heard when the main character is about to enter a haunted forest. These low hoots can be heard from a variety of habitats and regions, as great horned owl's range is truly expansive, covering just about all of North America and even parts of South America. If the noise of the common loon is the spirit of the north woods, then the sound of the great horned owl would have to be the spirit of the nighttime woods and wraps up our list of the 10 most iconic bird songs and calls in the United States. Bird songs and calls certainly hold a special place in our lives, whether it's through everyday experiences in the real world 
or through shared culture in TV and movies. While there are many noises made by birds that hold significance in our hearts and minds, these 10 species rise above the rest as being the most iconic. Are there any other bird songs and calls that you find to be iconic? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Thank <music> you.